Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, it's time to put the nail in the coffin of this year's tag season with uh, with this the third and and the third and vinyl, the third and final tag I'm gonna do. Um, this one's the cassette tag. Uh, it was uh, thought up by Low Noise Jason Skills, so thanks, Jason. Uh, twenty one questions here, twenty in a bonus. Uh, I kind of expected this to take longer for me to put together than it actually did. Um, I'm not nearly as in tune with my uh, with my cassette collection as I am with my record collection, but surprisingly, it came together pretty quick. So uh, I get to do this while it's still topical. So uh, yeah, question one: a tape from 2022. I'm going with a band most of you probably know, Tomb Mold. This is their Aperture of Body cassette. A uh, brutal Toronto death metal band. Uh, took a lot of shit from the gatekeeper community at first for whatever reason. I have no idea why, because they're a really good band. Uh, solid live band. I'm hoping to, uh, to see them again sometime soon, but I have not heard of any shows going on within reach of me. But once I do, I will be there. So yeah, two mold. Aperture of body. Question two, a punk or new wave tape? I have a few of those. I'm going to go with uh, a band from Austin, Texas. It's from 2019 on Dream Home Records. It's a self-titled cassette by Green Jag. It's kind of almost lo-fi hardcore punk. Uh, really snotty vocals. Sounds like a kid having a tantrum in a toy aisle somewhere. Uh, it was really good. I just I heard it online at one point and was like, I need to get a copy of that. And then I couldn't find anywhere that would send one to Canada. But, uh, but patience won out, and now I have one. So, yeah, Green Jag. Austin, Texas. Question three, a metal or hard rock tape? I'm going with uh, another band most of you probably know. It's the Forbidden Evil cassette by Forbidden. Uh, San Francisco thrash metal. It's on Combat Records from 1988. Uh, not really much more to say about it. It's you know, San Francisco thrash metal from the 80s. Forbidden. Uh, number four, a tape still sealed. I'm going with a, a band from Toronto called Beyond the Pale. This is their 2021 demo. Uh, I like to support bands, obviously. Uh, so I'll buy a few copies of whatever they're selling, and then I'll, I'll end up trading the, the others away or, or giving them out as VCLT. Um, so that's why this one's still sealed. Uh, this is like knock down the walls, fucking power violence from Toronto, as I said. Uh, you got Greg from Shit. He plays bass in this band. Um... The guitar player plays in bands as well, other bands, but uh, I just can't remember which ones. I want to say he might play in Tash Me, but don't uh, don't quote me on that. Yeah, I've seen these guys live twice now. And they're great both times. So, uh, yeah, if you want some, you know, burn the place down fucking power violence, then uh, Beyond the Pale might be for you. One of you may receive this in the near future, but then again, one of you may not. So, yeah, just, uh, I don't know. Look out for it if I send you a package. Uh, number five, most experimental tape. I, I'm not like a huge fan of experimental music for the most part. Like, I don't seek it out. I have some, for sure, but it's just not something that I, you know, that I pursue. Uh, but I will show a, uh, a cassette that I consider to be experimental that I, I listen to more than others. That's a Hungarian band called Trottle. This is their interference cassette. It's on a uh, a label that I believe is from Poland called Nick Nick Niwi. It's from 1999. Uh, also came out on CD. I don't think there was a vinyl release for it. Um, now, Trottle's been around for a long time, like I think since the late 80s. Um, I've been aware of them since the early 90s. I've liked them since I heard them, but I, I don't own as much of their stuff as I would like to, which I may change um, in the coming year. Um, they're... I would say they're they're fundamentally rooted in anarcho punk, um, but in the same way that a band like the X is, um, there's a huge folk element to it. Uh, they're not afraid to use instruments that are you know kind of unconventional to punk. Uh, like there's there's a flute ripping through this and a bunch of other weird shit. Um, the songwriting, the arrangements, top notch. I would not be the one. I would not want to be the one to to write this shit. Um, very, very good band, though. Like, they, they can fucking play. So, uh, so yeah, if, if you want something a little weird, a little different, you know, check out Trottle from Hungary. Um, num 
number six, a tape from the 80s. All right, we're going with a New Jersey metal band from 1988 on Arena Records. It's the Hate Cassette by Harder Attack. Uh, this kind of reminds me of if you if you mixed like Accept and Nuclear Assault. It would kind of probably sound like this. Um, it's produced by Glenn Evans from Nuclear Assault, so maybe that has something to do with it. But I, I saw this at an antique mall in a bunch of cassettes, and I thought, eh, it looks interesting. So I grabbed it, and yeah, it's pretty good. And I've never seen it shown anywhere else. So get a good look. Harder attack. Hate. Um, a hip hop or R and B tape. I don't have any R and B tapes. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I'm also not a giant hip hop guy either, but I do have some. Uh, and one is this. It's kind of it's a mixtape kind of by uh by a hip hop artist from Buffalo, New York called Ebola Virus. Um, I just made the J card. It was actually just given to me as a bare bones cassette, not even a case with it or anything. But uh like I said, from Buffalo, New York, um, most of his stuff is is anti-religious. Like, not just, you know, anti-Christian, but just right across the board. He's like, you know, fuck religion in, you know, in any way, shape, or form. And, yeah, I can get behind that. Uh, crappy cover that I made because, like I said, it didn't have one. So I just got some early shitty internet clip art and made a cassette made case. So here you go, Ebola virus, Buffalo, New York. He's uh some clips of his of his music are on like um, you know the first uh, they live seven inch at the end of uh at the end of the sides. There's some Ebola virus sampled in there and whatnot, but uh, yeah, he's pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, number eight, a tape you have on CD or vinyl as well. I'm going with a comp here. It's the uh, Hardcore Holocaust 87 to 88 sessions. It's on Strange Fruit Records. It's, uh, I've had this cassette for a long time. Uh, th this particular, you know, version of the cassettes from 1991. But uh, last week I was in Odyssey Records up in London, Ontario, and I saw the LP. So I grabbed it. The LP is actually from 1998. Uh, also on Strange Fruit, though. Great comp. Sounds real good. You have uh, Electro Hippies, Extreme Noise Terror, The Stupids, uh, Unseen Terror, Doctor and the Crippins, Doom, Napalm Death, Bolt Thrower, and Intense Degree. You, you, you can't go wrong with that shit. So, yep, Hardcore Holocaust. Um, Number nine, your most expensive or valuable tape. I have no idea. A lot of the tapes that I have aren't even on Discogs, so I can't even do a Discogs search, um, you know, from a from a value perspective. But I do know that I had an extra copy of this tape at, at one point a few years back, and I put it on eBay, and I got two hundred bucks for it. And that would be the uh, Haymaker two thousand demo. Um, fairly well known band. You got Jeff Beckman in in here from uh, from Choke Hold and Left for Dead and you know, some other bands, uh, just totally destructive, you know, pissed off, you know, uncompromising hardcore punk from Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, this was given to me by, by Jeff Beckman, um, because he wanted my old band to do a split with them. He wanted me to check them out first because I hadn't heard them at the time. Uh, and we ended up doing the split on deep six records and it's out there, you know, in dollar bins everywhere. So pick it up. But, uh, I, I like I said I did put up an extra copy of this that I had on eBay and I got 200 bucks for it. Uh, it might not be as worth might not be worth as much nowadays because it has been released as an LP, but uh, you don't see it too often. The Haymaker Demo 2000. Uh, a techno electronic or synth tape. Um, going with an Australian band here. That's actually a pretty solid synth synth punk band called wild tone just like you like you would what you would expect from synth punk that's, that's what this is it's it's good uh there's they do a cover of a gun club song on here which is never a bad thing so yep australia wild tone it's from uh 2019 it's on helta skelto records um a tape you bought at a show yeah here's one i got what, last month at a show 
Uh, I saw this band. They're from uh, they're from Montreal. They're called Puffer. It's uh, Live and Die in the City Demo 2022. Uh, kind of a street punk oi band. Very very good. They're uh, they're turning some heads lately. A lot of people are into them, but uh, I've only seen them once and they were really good. Hoping to see them again. I'm, I'm sure I will in the coming year. But yeah, Puffer from Montreal. Uh, 12, a tape with a colored shell. I'm going with a Toronto band, two-piece, two-piece industrial band called Intensive Care. This is uh, a removal to elsewhere. It's on Survivalist Records. It's from 2018. Um, and colored shell. And it's red. Uh, this band has uh, Andy Nolan, who was in Shank when he was uh, living in the UK. And he, you know, moved to Toronto and he started the endless blockade and he played in column of heaven and and now he's in intensive care um this like i said it's industrial kind of in a god flesh style but there's some power electronics in there and that i've seen i've seen them live a couple times they're they're pretty uh pretty deafening really um good band they put out a lot of shit so yep this is one it's got a colored shell the color being red um 13 an import tape from a country other than your own I got another comp here. It's from Japan on Daywa Records. It's from 2000. It's the Daywa compilation tape. It's all uh, Japanese bands. You got uh, Boltstein, Deride, Age, or Armed Government Error, uh, Pile of Trash, Peaceful Collapse, and Terrible Headache. I just decided to show this one because uh, it's got the cool case. Opens up. You got. Uh, Get the fucking thing out. Got a snazzy booklet. The tape's embedded in there. So, uh, it's one you don't see too often. I've never seen anyone else get a copy. I don't even remember where I got it, but... Daywa compilation tape. Uh, number 14. Will you buy more tapes in 2023? Why or why not? Absolutely, because I, I like cassettes as a, as a format. I've always been a fan of demo cassettes, um, and now I think they're more relevant than ever because they're more affordable than records, um, and they're becoming more you know more widespread than records because waits at the pressing at the pressing plants are, are so long nowadays. Um, and I, I have actually ordered one in 2023. I ordered the. Uh, Cell Death cassette from Suicide Records, which I haven't received yet, but I'm sure it'll be here this week. So the answer is yes, I will buy more cassettes. 15, what do you play your tapes on? I'm not going to pick my phone up and walk over there because I, I don't play them on a boom box or anything. I actually have like a, a component cassette deck, but I mean, we've all seen black double cassette decks before. Mine is a, it's a Ken, uh, Kenwood KXW1060, if you must know. And it serves my purposes just fine. 16, show a mixtape or a blank tape. I've got a mixtape here from my buddy Bradley down in uh, down in Atlanta. I think I got it last year. It's called Summer Sucks. He always does a good job. He's like a professional mixtape maker. Got uh, Summer Sucks. It's got, oh yeah, he threw this in there. And I'm not going to read all the bands off, but it's got the Killjoys, the Stimulators, Cold Cock, <clears throat> The Curse. Yeah, all kinds of shit. But uh, yeah, Bradley Rules. I like when he sends me mixtapes. And that just happened to be the first one I saw. I figured I'd show it. So summer sucks, even though it's, uh, it's fucking snowing outside right now. So summer doesn't suck as much as winter. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'll show a blank tape as well. Got the uh, Maxell XL290 right here. I got tons of blank tapes still sealed. I don't know, maybe I should start doing mixtapes for people. 17, show an album you would like to have on tape or a tape you want on vinyl. I would love to have the 1987 demo by Reason to Believe um, as a 7-inch. Uh, it's the first Reason to Believe I ever heard. Um, I got a uh, like a mixtape from... Uh, from a, a zine called What's the Point that was located in uh, Bellflower, California back in like 87 or 88. Uh, 
and reason to believe was and stuff from this demo actually was on that that mixtape that they sent out with, with the zine. Um, it's very raw, rough recording. Um, the band wasn't nearly as tight as they were on the seven inch that came out a year after this was released, but it's still got its charm. And the song Mike doesn't make right. I always really liked that song and it, it wasn't ever released on any of their other shit. So, uh, I would love to see the reason to believe demo, um, put to, put to vinyl, but I very well may never see that. Um, I've talked about reason to believe at length before, but like Harbor City, California, Melodic Straight Edge, John Bunch went on to be in Sense Field, passed away a few years ago. That's the gist of it. Um, 18, show an 8-track or VHS tape. I can do that. For 8-tracks, I have uh, The Fine Art of Surfacing by the Boomtown Rats. Not my favorite Boomtown Rats stuff. Not my least favorite. This band's really hit and miss with me. Um, the songs that are good, I really, really like. But most of their stuff, I'm just, meh, not super keen on. But here it is on 8-track. I do have an 8-track player as well, but, you know, never use it. Um, oh, I guess I can't really uh, discount Sanford and Son either, you big dummy. Uh, I'll show a VHS tape, too. I got uh, Nuclear Assault. Handle with care. Uh, yeah, you know, New York band, metal kind of crossover. Very, very good band. I actually saw them on this tour in Toronto at the Sibony. They played with uh, Mordred and Overthrow. So, yeah, Nuclear Assault, Handle with Care. This is the uh, European Tour 89 VHS. Um, show your second third or 23rd tape in your collection. I'll show all three just because I can. The second one is the uh, 2005 demo by About to Snap. Uh, local band here. Half the members lived in my town, half lived in London. I live just south of London. Um, the singer Tim uh, eventually did vocals for one of my old bands, Oxbaker. Um, the guitar player, uh, Pedja, he's been in well, him and Tim have been in many bands together. Uh, they were doing stuff recently, um, a band called Unit X. N didn't play shows or anything. They just recorded stuff. They did a few tapes. I'm not sure if Tim's still doing it or not, but regardless, this is fast, you know, pissed off straight edge. Kind of, kind of, you know, maybe in the in the realm of something like 97A or whatever, but... Uh, but yeah, really, really good band. They they put out a bunch of records. This was released as a 7-inch eventually as well. But yeah, about to snap. Demo, 2005. Uh, tape number three is the uh, 2013 demo by Absolute. I talked about uh, Absolute in the, the last video, in uh, the uh, punk vinyl tag. Toronto, super raw, guttural, like Swedish mangle style hardcore punk. Uh, this is on subpar records, but, uh, this is where it all started. It's the absolute demo. And, uh, the 23rd tape in my collection, it's a band from Halifax called Alienation. It's, there are uh, Alienation tapes, 2014 to 2017. Um, you got Dave from Suicide, uh, playing drums in this band. You got uh, a couple dudes from, uh, from Bougie Boys in here. You got a guy from Fragment in here and a bunch of other bands represented, um, very raw, kind of thinly produced, super fast, just spazzy, fucking hardcore. You, you can just picture there being a fucking mess all over the venue after they're done playing. I did see them play once, but they were on their best behavior. But, uh, yeah, really, really good band. They have, uh, they have some, uh, some, some vinyl releases out as well. So if you like just unhinged, fucking raw, raw, fast, hardcore punk, then, uh, Check out Alienation from Halifax. Uh, a double cassette or tape from a box set. I have a double cassette here. It was uh, released on a, a Polish label called, uh, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, but Triaka Fala. And it's uh, Econochrist, a band from Little Rock, Arkansas, that eventually made their way to uh, to the Bay Area, to Berkeley, California. Um this is a 1988 to 1993 collection, but uh, 
Yeah, it's two cassettes. Comes in a bag. But yeah, Iconochrist, just a just a really, really good, you know, hardcore punk band. A little bit of melody in there. Um yeah, they got they got really popular for a while, but uh yeah, there's not really much you can say about it other than just super competent, well played hardcore punk. And uh the bonus question, question twenty one. Show a Kasingle. I actually have two Kasingles. I'm only gonna show the one, but I uh, I got them at a thrift store. Neither of them really interest me, but I was like, yeah, they were literally like ten cents each. One of them is a Faith No More one, which yeah, whatever. And the other one is uh, Queensrÿche Silent Lucidity. I like the first two Queensrÿche Queens Queensrÿche records. I like the twelve inch. I like the Warning. Beyond that, I'm not really interested. This I'm especially not interested in, but. Whatever, I'm stuck with it. And it's a it's a it's a Kasingle. Comes out of that little slippy fucking thing. So yeah, Queen's Reich, silently silent lucidity. Why the fuck can I not speak today? Okay, that's it for the cassette tag. Um now we'll get back to uh my regular infrequent videos that aren't tag based. So uh thanks again, Jason. Cool tag. Here it is. See ya.